everyone now if you've been playing dark christ for quite a while you might remember a time in which mythical items were still available in the game and you could even make your own custom unique one well i've actually kept some of my old mythical items and today what we're going to do is we're going to use these items to create a build and try and beat fatal bridge now usually when i do this type of video i usually show the stats first and the items and then the passive skill tree however for this video i'm going to show you the items first and the reason why is because to really explain the stats and why the stats look the way they are you really need to look at the items and the item structure because obviously i know for a lot of my viewers this will probably be the first time they've actually seen the mythical item and the mythical item structure because it's not like how the item structure is now it's completely different now let's take a look at the items themselves and obviously one thing that you'll realize straight away is that the item structure is different there are still main stats but there's no general stats anymore there's no dexterity no strength no stamina and the reason for this is because general stats didn't exist before it was just normal stats so when we look at my statistics my general stats are going to be really low another difference is that instead of additional stats you we now have special stats and these special stats are percentages when you upgrade or enchant an item these special stats don't change it's only the main stats that change so basically how you create these items is that you would get an uncommon item and then you would just keep increasing the rarity and what this would do is instead of adding stats like they do now it would just improve the stats that you already had which is why a lot of my mythical items are full of yellow stats it's because it wasn't because i was getting lucky it's because that's just how the crafting system worked you'll also realize that i've got a lot of damage and armor penetration and i guess this is because when i was making these items those were the stats that i found i guess the most important to me and i wanted to improve the most so obviously that's something to bear in mind when we look at my statistics as well i was thinking of using artifacts to really do a whole legacy build but i quickly realized that i needed block crate i needed block severity and i needed some stamina so in the end, I use protector's rings, which obviously are not legacy items, but hey, I need to do Fatal Bridge somehow. Now we're going to be looking at the stats. Uh, bear in mind that potions are active, but we're going to start with the general stats. And as you can see, they're pretty low. Um, strength is just um, below 3k. Stamina is just above 3k. Dexterity is the highest at 3.6 and intelligence is at 168. So this shows you how low the general stats are without the main stats being on items. But this doesn't mean that my stats are really low because if you look at my offensive stats, they're all right. Damage is at 30k, which is really, really high. Haste obviously isn't that important, but it's at 318%, which I would say is okay. Armor pen is at 92%, which is really impressive when you consider that one, I'm using dexterity gems, and two, there's not much armor pen in my passive skill tree. So this just shows you how much armor pen I have on my mythical items. Critical rate is at 97%. Critical severity is 658, which is reasonably high, and this is because one, I have strength for gems, but also two, what the devs have done is that if you have the old critical rating, it will boost critical rate and critical severity 50-50. Uh, skill recovery and control power isn't that important, but it shows you that actually general stats aren't that important. Um, they were obviously because they didn't exist, and that you can still have pretty high items if you still have the mythical legacy items we're looking at defense now defensive stats and health is at 138k defense is really high it's at 94 percent again this is because i had a lot of um defense on my mythical items but here's the problem block rate is only 91 percent and i don't know why um, I wasn't focusing on block rate when I was making my items. I guess I was probably still a noob at this point. But yeah, there's not much block rate and this is going to be a problem. Block severity is also low as a result, 83%. But as you can see, even with low general stats, my stats, especially offensively, are pretty good. 
Finally, we're going to look at the passive skill tree. And as you can see, I've used a lot of dexterity because I needed block rate. Right? But the big difference between this skill tree and the one that I usually do with all my characters is that there's a lot of defense. I've gone really far to the right to get health and defense. And this is because I felt I needed more health. Um, I have still gone to the top to get some mana, um, some intelligence, but it's not a lot. And obviously I've sacrificed strength um, there's barely any armor pen, which is usually the first thing that I go for. So obviously I went to test this build out in Fatal Bridge and for the first like few early levels of it, 130, 140, 150, we were fine. Obviously I have 92% armor pen, 30k damage, 100% critical severity with obviously the adaption passive. So we were fine. We were one-shotting enemies pretty easily. But defensively, we were struggling. And I think I died quite a few times. Um, and one of them was really early. It was in like level 160-ish. Um, we died for the final time in level 192. So we did get to the top 90s, but we didn't. We wasn't able to complete Fatal Bridge. And there are a few big reasons why. The first one is that the legacy items don't support runes. So... I didn't have the immunity rune and obviously this was really annoying because a lot of the damage I was taking could have been prevented and I, my deaths could have been prevented if I had the immunity rune. Um, the second reason, and this isn't the mythical item's fault, this is my fault, um, is obviously the block rate. There's no block rating on the mythical items, not because they didn't exist, block rating did exist, but it's because when I was making these items I was still learning about the game, I was still improving. so. I didn't realize how important block rating was. So there is, there is no block rating. And of course, block rate is very, very important. But what this has shown me is that although you want to use the latest um, system, the latest items, the legacy items do still have some use. And I feel like if you ask me to build my best ever build using all the items that I had, I would probably be using some of my legacy items in there especially um something like you know the powderons which don't obviously require runes and stuff i would definitely consider using them so if you have mythical items they're not completely useless but in my opinion i would stick to the new um system with the new items but this was really fun though